In the 16th century, I believe it was the 16th century, Niccolò Machiavelli wrote a very famous book called The Prince. And The Prince is the foundation of modern philosophy. It's an incredibly important book, and you have to understand why. Because you see, Machiavelli, it, it's, you know, we use the term Machiavellian to mean somebody who's very ruthless, but that's incorrect. The word Machiavellian should really mean pragmatic, looking at reality as it actually is. I mean, I pride myself on being pragmatic. I mean, that's the whole fucking point of the work I have done, both on the CRP channel and here on the Patreon channel. And so, see, the issue of being uh, pragmatic mm -hmm. means leads you down certain paths because you start to see things as you wish they were, but you also see them as they really are or as they ought to be. And here we come, of course, to the issue of being loved. We all want to be loved. We all yearn for the love of other people. Uh, the love of our spouses, of our children, certainly, of our parents, certainly, but also of our peers, our co-workers, our employees, our bosses. We want the love of everybody. But see, that is a naive wish. It's, it's not realistic. And just as Niccolò Machiavelli said, it is better to be feared than to be loved. When you're feared, people don't fuck with you. Simple as that. But when you're loved, when you're liked, People fuck with you all the time. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Assuming, of course, that they love you and like you, but don't fear you. See, I mean, let, let, let's 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 uh, finesse the point a little bit more. Is it better to be feared or to not be feared? To be feared every time. Every time you want to be feared, you want people to be scared shitless of you. See, and when you show up and you're nice and and you know crack a joke and whatnot, that's perfectly fine. But uh, if anybody crosses you, you gotta be willing to show your claws. And if anybody, anybody fucks with you, you just scream, leap, and attack. That's what you have to do. You have to be feared. It's more important to be feared than loved. Because love can grow. Love can develop. Yeah. But not fear, not respect. See? Because when you fear somebody, you respect them. Not in the sense of like you're deferential to them uh, or you think highly of them. No, if you fear somebody, you're going to respect them in the same way that you fear a lion because you're going to be saying, oh, Jesus, man, I better keep my distance or this fucker is going to eat me, right? Uh, that's what's going on, right? So when people fear you, they will respect you. And as they get to know you and you allow softer sides of you to appear, they will grow to love you, which is a good thing. I mean, it's, it's wonderful to be in an environment where the other people uh, uh, love you, or at least like you. But see, if they don't fear you, then they won't respect you. They will pretend to respect you, and defer to you, and say please and thank you, but they'll walk all over you. And the important things, they'll just do whatever the fuck they want, see? And whatever the fuck they want will be to your detriment. And do you want that? Do you want people to walk all over you and get ahead? at your expense, hmm? while you just sit there and watch as other people get what they want and you wind up with nothing? Is, is that the kind of man you want to be? Is that the kind of life you want to have? Fuck no, of course not. So what you have to do is you have to show your claws. And here's a trick. See, it's usually easiest to make people fear you at the very beginning of your relationship with them. Yeah, of course, because I mean, when people get to know you at first, they have no idea who you are. Yeah, they, they have no fucking idea. And so, when they see you act, and all of a sudden, relatively early on in the interaction, in, in their relationship with you, mm -hmm. they see you show your claws, not necessarily at them, but perhaps at other people. Then they're like, whoa, 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 this guy is not to be fucked with. Oh, he's a nice guy and he tra cracks joke, but did you see how he acted there? Somebody was stepping over him a little bit and he just like, with the fucking claws, right? That's what you want to be doing, of course. Because see, also, you got to take advantage of a certain bias that people have. The bias is, I forget the name of it, but people have uh, uh, the conception of others by way of their first impression. If they have a first impression of you, and uh, uh, it's, it's one of weakness, then they'll always think of you as weak, no matter how strong you might actually happen to be. And in fact, this bias might uh, be to that person's detriment. They might think of you as weak and you're not, and they fuck with you and they, they get hammered for it. And they're like, well, well, how the hell did this happen? Because you see, they're bias. But by the same token, if initially in a relationship you show that you're strong, 
not necessarily towards them, towards other people. Then you got it made. And here you come to a part that is not a lot of fun. See, when you're interacting with a, a group of people, say like uh, five, six, seven people, mm -hmm. and none of them know you, but you know of one of them who's like the weakling, mm -hmm. what you have to do is go up to that weakling and just put him down and, and just show that you're tough. It's the same rules as prison. Mm -hmm. I mean, prison, the prison system, especially in America, it's, it's the pure desolation of humanity. Mm -hmm. When you ever get uh, arrested and thrown into jail, what you have to do is go up to somebody who's like isolated with no friends and beat the ever-living shit out of him. And after that, nobody won't fuck with you because they'll know that you're not to be fucked with. See? And it's a hard fact of life, but it's the truth. You're in any group of men. And I'm talking with men, okay? Women, that's... Fuck that. But insofar as men are concerned, you're in any group with men, mm -hmm. new group of men, you got to establish that you're not to be fucked with. You got to show that you're tough enough to handle anybody. You have to instill a little bit of fear in the people who know you. And insofar as your romantic relationship is concerned, goes doubly said, yes. See, you have to be willing to show your woman that you're able and willing to walk out the door if she doesn't tow your lines. And if she doesn't tow your lines, then you walk out the door. Yeah, inevitably. See? See, because the woman, <laughs> insofar as her relationship with you is concerned, she wants to love you, but she also wants to fear you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she wants to know that you're tough enough to handle her and potentially handle anybody else who comes their, your way, uh, who comes her way. See? She wants to know that you're a man who can handle himself. I'm not talking about physically. I'm certainly not uh, espousing any kind of abuse towards a woman. Are you insane? No. But what I am saying is that in that inevitable manipulation, psychological manipulation of women, where they see if you're really strong or if you'll fold, you got to show that you're strong, especially early on. You got to instill a little bit of fear in her because that way she won't fuck with you. That way she'll know that you're not to be trifled with. And ironically enough, that's how you earn her love. Because this is the ultimate truth. We only love those that we fear a little bit. Mm -hmm. That's true. Mm -hmm. You inspire fear in others. I mean, not, not scare the shit out of them and certainly not arbitrary. I'm talking about a, a healthy respect. Mm -hmm. You inspire that fear in other people and they will come to love you. Every time. Because that's the way of people. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know those stories about real pieces of shit who abuse others, mm, abuse them in different ways. And the victim of the abuse keeps coming back to the abuser. Mm. It's like the hooker and her pimp. The pimp beats the ever-living shit out of the poor hooker. And the hooker keeps coming back and giving the pimp all her money. And you're like, how does that happen? Well, now you know, see? Because we wind up loving the abuser. It's the truth. We love the one that we fear. Mm -hmm. And if we fear somebody, if we're afraid of what they'll do, afraid of the consequences, if we misbehave, if we act in a way that the object of our fear does not like, we love them more. Mm -hmm. Women, uh, uh, abused women, they always defend their abuser. It's crazy. It's fucking crazy, man. But it's the truth. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a human, it's a truth about human nature that you must understand and learn, see? So many beta guys, you know, second tier men, third tier men, they try to be loved. They want to be loved, yeah? They yearn to be loved, probably because they didn't get enough love or they feel somehow lacking in love. Well, it doesn't really matter their motivation, but the point is these men, they want to be loved and they do everything in their power to be loved by others and they don't get that love. Because in their efforts to try to be loved, they show themselves to be weak, not to be feared, not to be respected. Ergo, not to be loved. That's the ultimate irony. The guy who wants to be loved will never be loved. But the guy who doesn't care about being loved and only wants to be feared, he will be loved. And that's the truth.